All right, so today I gotta, what was that? All right, so today I gotta do a few things. I got to refill this CO2. I gotta ship this back to Coral 12G, and then I gotta go to UPS store and uh, ship some other stuff out. Haven't been out of the house since that last video. In that last video, people were like, you're being so irresponsible. I was like, the two weeks that the whole quarantine thing has been going on, I've probably been out three times. Not even grocery shopping or anything, so. All right, so let's go ship this stuff because this stuff is very important. I want to know one thing. What are you guys listening to? What kind of podcast you guys are listening to? What videos are you guys watching while this whole thing's taking place? Let me know down below. So one thing to take note is they don't do Phillips, they swap your tank. So if you have a nice clean looking tank and you get it back a dirty one, don't be surprised because they just swap it out. Just something to know because I'm pretty OCD about things and buying a new tank and then getting an older one back is just like, ugh. And I know it goes in the little corner and everything, but it is what it is. So uh, now we wait. Got my tank. This one looks so dirty and nasty. <laughs> Hands are getting so freaking dry using all this hand sanitizer. Even when I did nails, which I did do nails, I am Vietnamese, my hands weren't this dry. This is crazy, man. All right, well, I got the package sent off to George. On my way to go get some food because I'm starving. Chinese food. Because it comes from China, right? <laughs> all right, we're gonna go install this. I'm trying not to use a tripod. Makeshift box here. So I take this off here. And then this goes on to here like so. I have a triple splitter on this thing, as you can see. I gotta fill it up with water again though. Make sure the bubble counters are working. CO2 is just like a really fun thing to like, you know, have. It's, uh, it's kind of like a luxury. Makes things grow super fast, super healthy. Just a big plus for me. I don't run it on all my tanks, but uh, the tanks I run them on, you can clearly tell they have CO2. So open up the valve, CO2s are going crazy. Off, off, and off. Now that I have them off, I'm gonna slowly do each one so it goes about one bubble a second. As you can see, it's not quite running yet. It'll take a while. Oh, I'm gonna take off my socks on this one. When it rains, it floods my basement. So all this gets wet. I just hate stepping on it. I gotta have to call the landlord. Here's one of the tanks that have CO2 on it. You can totally tell. And uh, this one doesn't. So you see all the moss is just really scraggly and everything. This one has, um, although I have an in insufficient light, this one has it. My hang on back filter just broke. So I'm running a sponge filter. This one doesn't have CO2. As you can see, the uh, pogo stamina here is just really, really ugly and scraggly and everything. And this one doesn't, which is surprising, but you can kind of tell the, the Java moss is really stringy and not a lot of things are doing very well, like the Java moss, I mean, the, the Java fern there. And a little bit of algae there. And those two tanks don't have it. I wanna show you guys my turtle here. She is shedding. Look at that. She's growing. She'll follow my finger and try to snap at it, probably. Very interactive when it comes to wanting to eat, for sure. All right, I'm back from running my errands. I am currently working. This is a video on the Aquarium Co-op channel. I'll show you guys a little quickie of what I like to do with the, the basic videos like these. This is shot on the iPhone Max. I think the, the newest iPhone, the 11 Pro or whatever. Um, let me take away the color because I usually like to color grade things. Down here, I'll take away the color. You can see Dean's face right here. Take away both colors that I like to do. This is how it comes out on the iPhone. And you add a little bit of more color and you have that. It's a lot more of a happier mood, I would say. And down here, these marks right here, are all the places I need to put B-roll. So I watched the whole video, I cut up 
I cut it up while I watch it. And then, I'm not even sure if I could post this because it's not even going to be out yet. I cut it up while I watch it and then I color grade while I go and then do the audio at the same time. Usually in a video like this, because it's shot on an iPhone, Corey's voice is a lot louder than Dean's. So every time Dean speaks, I have to raise up the volume. So just little things like that. So checking in on the 48 gallon today, you can see something totally different. I moved the light there above the plants, kind of triggers my OCD, but it's better for the plants. You can see the Hygrophilia penitifida. There you go. Taking off. That's pretty cool. What I really wanted to show you guys is the schooling behavior of the CPDs. So I just fed a fluval bug by its bottom feeder. It's just for the CPDs because they're still a little bit uh, nervous about coming out. So I feed food that sinks down so um, a lot of them can get it. There are a few excited eaters up there. You can see a little group up there. You can see a school down there. I've seen as much as like 15 down there just forming a search party for food. So they graze the ground floor for food. You can see another group up here just swimming with the Pseudomilgill Illuminatus. And another group is always right over there in the big old pile of, of plants. So pretty crazy cool behavior. Never seen anything like that before. That's what happens when you have a lot of CPs in one place. Here's a quick little update about my two gallon little, I have no idea what I'm gonna call this. <laughs> you can see a little bit of fog rolling through. That's pretty cool. So I just have a little lamp here, just shines there. It's on a timer, which the next video you'll see me do, it's about timers. And how you could turn any kind of light into a smart light. So that's that. Down into the fish room. That's my pile of clothes because there's a bunch of mud on it because I fell off my one wheel. <laughs> um, I brought you guys down here to show you what's gonna happen to this fish room. Not a lot of things are changing, but the one big change will be this tank. I'm gonna kind of tear it down, take the tetras out, the costellos, the, maybe leave the carry tetras in there, leave the bristle noses in there. The tank design will probably be uh, Kind of similar to this with more plants, maybe for sure CO2. I'm probably gonna take the CO2 off of that tank or this tank and put it in this tank because I only have a three-way splitter like I showed you guys earlier. I really want to do some Ultim Angels. So maybe, I don't know, a little group of Ultim Angels, some bristle noses and those tetras there. Everything else, just take them out. I have no idea where I'm gonna get Ultim Angels, but I've never really kept angels, I don't think. I can't remember. If I did, it was probably not Altums, for sure. The guppy tank has cleared up. All the little babies in there. Gonna have to do a water change. They're still eating on food that's been in there for probably an hour, those little flake bits. Definitely gonna do a water change on that. Goldfish, doing great. These are the last two left. They're very healthy, eat all the time. <laughs> I think I'm gonna tear down that whole betta section. There's only one betta in there, all the way right there. Uh, maybe put something else there, I have no idea. But I kind of like the way it looks right now, but there's just nothing in there. So maybe take them out and just redo everything. Oh, hold on. Uh, while we talk about angels, right? Uh, so Dean recently bred Shodanite Puffer, so I'm gonna overlay the video right now. That's just a huge, a huge feat. Uh, because as of right now, I only think John Preston has done it. If I'm wrong, maybe comment down below but ah, congratulations to Dean uh, as you can see in the footage a lot of people asked him why are the ones going spinning in circles and stuff like that those are the ones that's fairly hatching so that's a huge deal he's also made a uh, allergy sterilizer like the one I have in my 48 gallon the twin star one instead of paying like a hundred something dollars for it he went and made some just with parts around his house so I'm gonna post that here if you guys want to see more little projects like that that Dean does go to my um, Facebook group so it's Swiski and company so maybe type in Swiski on Facebook maybe it'll come up maybe it won't I don't know um, but he's always posting little stuff right there it's mostly a page about photography so and if you guys need tips on photography and how to shoot things um, you can find me there I answer a lot of the, the questions there and we we're just a little tight-knit group that likes to take pictures as uh, speaking of pictures I went to nature preserve the other day and uh, just with me and Lizzie 
no one around. It was pretty great. You know, they encourage you as you go exercise, uh, you know, in the outdoors as long as you stay away from people. So we did that. I took a picture. I took pictures of a bunch of birds. Like this is the, my first time ever taking out my new lens. So I was really happy with how those came out. Uh, still got a lot of practice to do. <laughs> But I uh, hope you guys enjoy the pictures. Thanks for coming along with me today. I know it was just another vlog. You guys asked for it. You guys got it. So thank you so much for supporting this channel. Yeah, don't chew my head off next time, all right? All right, I love you guys. Take care and stay safe. Until the next one, guys, make sure you like. Bye.